I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Dr. Umar speaks about the P. Diddy federal case. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Elise. Don't forget to subscribe. So P. Diddy, Puff Daddy Combs locked up in one notorious detention center in New York. Apparently he doesn't even get to wash every day. He definitely has no chef. He's facing some serious charges without any baby oil. But let's get serious people. Dr. Umar has been talking about this case and he kind of went against what everybody is saying. And I've got the clip right here, people. Check it out. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex, what we call prostitution. Not Casey, not the freak offs, not underage girls, but prostitution. Because I don't support prostitution either. The sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak offs, not stomping out Cassie, not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. That is the charge. I'm bringing this up because when I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking? I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil, but I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing about freak offs? Yeah, fam. Now, I believe he was saying this before they unsealed the indictment. But the points he was saying is still very poignant. He's talking about how the media keep going on about things that aren't really about this case. Like Cassie. Cassie isn't involved in this case. She might be giving out information to the feds. What he did to Cassie isn't part of this legal case at all. His crimes are sex trafficking and racketeering. That's the bulk of it. But the media keep going on about baby oil, thousands of bottles of baby oil, Cassie, how he's not a nice person, and all this freak off stuff. He was basically saying that those things are not illegal. It's not illegal to have freak offs. It's not illegal to have baby oil and flying over prostitutes from state to state as much as he frowns upon it isn't the worst thing in the world not my opinion it's his don't shoot the messenger now, obviously there's more accusations at diddy like for example did he force people or blackmail them to get involved in these freak offs but dr umar is basically saying on the face of things there's no real evidence that that occurred how can you even be able to prove if somebody was willing or not willing if it's just a recording unless they're literally saying i don't want to do this and then diddy saying that they have to it's all very subjective but one thing we do know when the feds come knocking they will have a lot of evidence but that's just my opinion i want to know yours leave a comment below like subscribe and hit that notification bell this is fresh hip-hop opinion Peace and love.